I'm Jenny from the Art and Energy Collective and I'm going to show you how to set up this moth trap that you can loan from us. So the first thing I've done is to lay out this white square of fabric and that just sort of amplifies the, the light a bit more um, and might attract in some more moths. The next thing that we're going to take is our small funnel and you'll notice that in the funnel there's a little bit of wire mesh. That's to stop the moths from escaping and the small funnel goes into the small hole in the bottom of the box and that's to drain away any rainwater that goes into the, the trap overnight. The next thing we're going to do is to take some egg boxes. We're going to place those around the funnel, careful not to overlap the funnel, and these provide the moths with somewhere nice and dark and dry to spend the night. In the box marked fragile is the lighting unit. So we're going to take that out firmly but carefully. And the black cable that comes out from that we need to plug into the bottom of the ballast box. Now this is the ballast box, it's got all the electronics for the moth trap in it, including a little sensor that means that it comes on at dusk and turns off at dawn. And the plug has a little divot in it, so you can only put it in one particular way. And just push that in nice and firm and then slide it onto the side of the box. Then we're going to pop on our lid. And into the hole in the top, we're going to place the larger funnel. Going back to our lighting unit, I'm going to spread out the three white plastic fins so that they're kind of equidistant and place this white cap over the top to hold them in place. And the whole of the lighting unit sits inside the large funnel. There's also a rain shield to keep out any rain overnight. We've made a little tag and we'd ask the person who's responsible on site for the moth trap to write their name and contact number on there, just in case there are any queries or problems with it. And that just slides onto one of the arms and then the arms fit into the brass fittings on the funnel. This green cable here is an earthing wire and that's just in case there are any problems with the electronics, it means you won't get a shock. So what we're gonna do is to push that down through the hole in the white fabric into the earth and that will make it nice and safe. All that's left to do is to plug the moth trap into the battery. Just slide that in, push it really hard so that it clicks. Now, the moth trap at the center of it is this light bulb and that's gonna light up at night, at dusk, and attract any moths into the trap. You might have noticed that the light hasn't come on when I've plugged that in. And that's because of that sensor that I mentioned. So when I cover the sensor over, you'll notice that the light comes on. And when I uncover it, it goes off. So the plan is that lots of moths in this surrounding area are gonna be attracted to that light overnight. They're gonna flutter in, fall down through the funnel, find somewhere nice and warm and dry to spend the night in amongst those egg boxes. And we'll come back in the morning to see what we've caught. Good morning, we're back and raring to see what we've got in our trap. The first thing we're gonna do is have a look at the surrounding area. It's quite often moths come fluttering in, don't quite make it there and might be hiding under one of these leaves. And I've got a moth pot and phone because they do flutter out. They're not always easy to find. And then we've got our ID chart here with the different common moths on them. So that will be useful as well. I can't see any around, so should we have a look and see what we've got in the trap? The first thing I'm gonna do is to unplug the battery and move that to one side so that all this is safe for us to investigate. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, I am. You have to lift up the egg boxes really carefully, look underneath, because they like a nice dark little room for the night. Oh, there's one. You can use a feather here to scoop it up into the pot. Look at him. It's a beauty, isn't it? A lovely little pattern moth. When you look closely at these moths, they have amazing wings. Fantastic. So we'd really love to hear what it is that you find in your moth traps. Um, do get in touch. Happy mothing. <laughs>